Yo. Oh, it's like the bad ending. Damn, it's cold. But of course, you never miss a day of school, huh? I'm impressed. Man, this year really flew by. We're practically third years now. Only one more year of high school. You think there's anything interesting on the horizon? Hmm. You think so? Looking at the current third years? I'm not really sure. Pretty much all they do is freaking study. Sure doesn't look like fun to me. Is that what we're gonna turn into next year? Man, why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? <laughs> so we don't know I get so hey, we don't that girl looking at us? Dude, she's pretty cute! How come I never noticed her before? What are you talking about? She lives in the same dorm as us. Wait, she does? Uh, what's her name then? This part is all so weird. I don't know. Sheesh, then you barely know more than me. Anyway, it's always crazy in the dorms this time of year. With oh, so many people coming and going. Oh yeah, did you hear? Sonata Senpai's moving out. You know him, right? He's the captain of the boxing team. Yeah, not that I really talked to him. And obviously, all the graduates are leaving. Kirijo Senpai's getting ready to move, too. Nope. Kirijo. Oh, the student council president. Uh, she's in our dorm, too, huh? I hate this. Man, what's up with that girl? Hey there. Are you looking at us? Is something wrong? Oh, no. It's nothing. She looked like she had something on her mind, huh? Wait, you think she might be interested in one of us? <laughs> Not a chance. But this time... Man, you really know how to hit a guy where it hurts. We're going to remember each other, By the right? By you could time. Uh, yeah, never mind. Uh, forget it. What? Just say it. Now it's going to bother me. Well, that... Uh, do you remember how we became friends? I mean, don't take it the wrong way. I was just wondering. Well, it's not like we're best friends or anything. But I guess it just kind of happened. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. That part didn't... That, they didn't have that part. Weird, though, I think I get what you mean. That wasn't in the bad ending. I can't really explain it, but something just feels off. Now that I think about it, that girl... Oh, crap. The days have been going by peacefully without incident. Class has ended for today. What? Changing years sucks, man. It's such a hassle to learn the new routine. Um. What does this mean? This is the... I guess this is the epilogue? I was told to talk to everybody, so yeah, let's do it. Graduation is coming up. It's a waste of time to pursue anyone who's leaving. Next year will be tough too, man. All the hot chicks won't stay single for long. You better start planning now. This guy's still going. He's still he's still thirsty. This guy didn't get a single sip. All right, so I think we want to talk to everybody. Sup, dude? Want to grab a bite at Hakakure? I haven't had their special in a while. Hold up! I ain't made out of money. Just a poor, broke high school kid here. Come <laughs> on, man. We're buds, right? We even bonded while playing catch and everything. Right? I uh, guess we never actually got around to that, huh? Well, anyways, hear me out for a bit? I got called in to Miss Toriyumi's office again. She asked me what I was planning to do after April. Dude, like I know. I was trying to play it off, but then she got all worked up and gave me one hell of a lecture. It's just me. Or she gotten way more serious than before. 
Well, Machika was saying that you can't even bribe her with cake anymore. <laughs> hey, did you hear from Tomochika about the new teachers coming in April? Apparently, they're all women. You have no idea how stoked he was. Honestly, I was getting made Kenji would be embarrassment. Well, none of that really matters to me. I already got a special some. Hmm? <sighs> I did have a special someone. Oh. Uh, I, I'm not making this up or anything. I don't want to tell such a pathetic lie to try and look cool. I just thought that that there was someone special in my life. Have I forgotten something important? Something I never should have forgotten. Uh, sorry, man. I, I think I'll pass. On Whoa, that. dude. Whoa. So he like kind of remembers Chidori, but not really. Something's been bugging me. I just don't know what, but I feel like it's something I shouldn't have forgotten. Dude, his voice actor is—he does such, Zeno does such a good Something's job. Been, Same I thing. June pays second one. Man, his first one can crit, so. Kenji? Yo. Dude, I heard the juiciest news just now. You want to hear it? Of course you do. Okay, here goes. This is just between you and me, okay? Get this. So, next month, I heard we have three fine looking teachers coming in. Kenji. I. Oh, no, I used it. Oh, no, I. Did, yeah, I didn't say I didn't use it. No, no, no. I was just saying, but his first one can crit. Miss Kano leaves. The faculty roster kind of loses its spark, you know. Did she? I thought Ms. she already Teruyumi left. Miss has that weird secret. Miss Onishi is obsessed with medicine, and Miss Teruuchi is like going to India or somewhere. I mean, come on. Even our school nurse is a guy. Sure, guy nurses are out there, but we could do better than him. Dude, Kenji is so thirsty all He's the got time. Anti-hooky agenda. Speak of the devil, you don't look so good. You need to go see that devil nurse. If that's the case, sorry, dude, but you're on your own. I refuse to set foot in that so-called nurse's office. Oh, oh, and those new teachers are coming by today to check out the campus. I'm thinking about hanging around the faculty office to scope them out. Want to come? Sure. Junpei's second theurgy does have... Yeah, it does. I know, it's beautiful. Excellent choice, oh wise one. We got electives to choose next year, right? Can't believe you I never used it. Yeah, no, I've only been playing the game for 250 hours. So we've got to make sure we choose the right one. If you catch my drift. Hmm? Wait a minute. Wasn't today? Oh crap! Sorry, man. I got to split before she gets here. Who's she? Ah, uh, my little sis. She'll be coming here starting next month, so she's gonna swing by today and look around. I'm not going to be her damn tour guide. I don't want to be seen leading her around by the hand everywhere. <sighs> I wish I had an older sister instead. Well, anyway, I'm going to jet. Later. I like having little sisters. Say anything damn, else? This sucks. I really wanted to see those new teachers. I don't want to wait a whole month. <laughs> oh, yeah. When my sister enrolls next month, I'll introduce you to. She loves to yap, but maybe she'll shut up if you're around. Just help me, for the love of God. Wait. But then you'd become my brother-in-law one day, huh? I don't know about that. Ah, oh, shit, I gotta go. Later. No? I won't? Oh. Oh, sorry. I was just thinking about you. Uh... Mm, can we go somewhere else? All right. Thanks. Uh, you look like you're not feeling well. Sorry to bother you at a time like this, but I appreciate it. Uh, hey, sorry for calling you out here. Oh, I wasn't expecting us to move. I actually have a little favor to ask. Mm. It's about my mom. I want you to meet her. <laughs> I mean, not, not in a weird way. It's just that... 
I promised to meet up with her, but I'm still kind of scared. If I see her, I might end up saying some really nasty things. Huh. Do they remember? We end up hurting each other even more. I'm not trying to make her feel bad. Their relationship with each other? I haven't fully sorted out my feelings yet. But I do want to see her. I think. That's why I thought it'd be great if you could be there with me. You don't have to say anything, really. It's just that I'd feel more confident having you around. I don't I don't say things often. By my side, I think I could treat my mom with a little more kindness. So if it's not too much trouble, what do you think? Yeah, sure. You'll do it? Thank you. Okay, I'll call her up right away. I've been putting this off for so long. I'm so worried so about what they're going to do with this. Family situation. Hey, um, you must be thinking your life would be easier if I didn't have so many problems. That's not true. What? Are you saying you actually like my problems? Hey, don't worry about it. I was just joking, okay? Jeez. You know, it's almost spring break. It all went by so fast. We're gonna be 30 years soon. And after that, we'll graduate and go to college and then become working adults, I guess. Wow. It's hard to imagine. Do you think we'll still be together at that point? Wait, so we are we are together. Like, we are together. Or she just means that as being like we're friends. Yeah, September, right? Go to a bathroom in the school? I don't really have to go, but. Too. Well, let's talk about the near future then. Wanna go somewhere over spring break? Oh, how about Destiny Land? But just the two of us, okay? You better not invite anyone else. <sighs> like if we stay the night and stuff. <sighs> I wonder if anyone at the dorms would notice if the two of us disappeared for a night. <laughs> That's an embarrassing thought. We can talk more about it later. Don't forget to save some time during spring break, okay? Huh. Does she have anything else to say? Decided to go to a four-year college. I think it's true that you need a good education in life, but that doesn't mean I've given up. I'll get into the fashion industry, even if I have to take a part-time job or something like that. Trouble on the horizon. No, no, no. We're good. We're fine. They say Destiny Land instead of Disneyland, right? Oh, she's... Okay, so she's not here anymore. I'm curious if all of the... Mr. Ono, oh, why are you here? Oh, for Bebe, I think. Oh, hey. Are you going home now? Okay, then I am too. Well, at least I want to, but I've actually got somewhere to be today. I'll come with you? Huh? N no, no, you can't. Oh, okay. Oh, but no, never mind. We shouldn't. I'm actually planning on going to the public library. Because, like, there weren't any books about sports physiology and stuff at the school library. I'm going to head out first to get some studying done, okay? Sorry about that. And again, since we've already bumped into each other, kind of want to chat for a bit. Want to walk me to the entrance? You, oh, sometimes then, Yuko gives me whiplash. You Yukari too. Home and study. I want you to stay. Oh, you know I can't. Hey, remember what I told you before? about finally finding my dream. I never had anything to work towards until now, so I'll admit I'd been slacking off. Mm, be honest, my grades really suck. It's been tough getting them back up, and that's why I need to work harder. Uh, I really, really want to hang out with you. I want to be with you. Not enough. And I want to feel closer to you too. But I gotta be patient. That's what I have to keep telling myself. I wanna take my dream into my own hands and stand next to you with my head held high. 
I want us to walk towards the future together. You just watch. I'm gonna be so much more irresistible by then. I bet you'll fall in love with me all over again. Just kidding. But that's why I need to be patient for now. Oh, I know. Don't they say that food tastes the best after you've tried your hardest in a match? Well, this is just like that. If we're patient now and cool off for a while, then maybe later on... Wait up! What are you even making me say? Did she just break up with me? Anyway, that's all I have to say. Uh, see ya. We'll hang out sometime soon. What was that about? Man, if that was my only love interest, I would be so mad. Are you kidding? Oh dear. Are you all right? You're pale as a sheet. Tomorrow's the graduation ceremony. Maybe you should go home and get... Oh no. Dude, they're totally gonna do it, aren't they? Otagiri? Oh, you. you don't look so good. Is the weather getting to you? It's been getting warmer. It's already March. Hmm. There's something I wanted to tell you. I'm gonna well, cry again, aren't I? We're in the same grade, so I'm sure we'll have plenty of chances to talk. Even so, I wanted to say this while we're both still on the student council. I'm going to quit. Well, this semester is just about wrapping up. All this means is I'm not going to apply next year. That cigarette business gave me a lot to think about. <laughs> That's actually good, because that was weird. This may sound odd, but do you think this country is headed in the right direction? I doubt it. I see. Me neither. Up until January, there was a sinister cult growing in popularity. So why do they remember some things? Like, the, the love interests remember the relationship. Like, some people remember the relationships that we had, but not all of them. A society without a future. For many people out there, that's the reality. I was thinking how we could change that, and what it would take to change society. My answer to that used to be, reform by those in power. I thought that was the only way. But starting a revolution just because you have the power to do so creates more problems. That's what the cigarette incident taught me. I realized how naive I had been. And it helped me arrive at a different answer. I think the best thing for society is education. True. Every last individual that makes up our society should have a right to education of heart and mind. I really believe that's what we need the most. And so, I'm thinking of becoming a teacher. A society is shaped by its people. Every person I help grow helps society grow by extension. Damn, Otagiri. You're not going to laugh and tell me I'm dreaming? He went from being like, I don't like you at all, to I like you. Like, you learned, you learned so much, bud. I see. Well, I plan to do my best. <laughs> That's all I wanted to tell you. That, and to say thanks. This was all because of you. So, thank you. I'm really glad this is all voice acted, too. no one even talks about the cigarette incident anymore. For everyone except me, it was a minor, easily forgotten incident. But I don't think I'll ever forget it. And I won't forget you either, of course. Thanks again. You're welcome. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to spy, but you're going out with Yuko, aren't you? I noticed she's been way more motivated lately. So you're the reason, huh? She even took a look at my knee with this huge book, pointing out all the muscle groups and where I injured it. She really knows her stuff now. Guess that's the power of love, huh? <laughs> well, she's a great girl. Better not catch you making her cry, all right? Wait, what would have happened if I didn't? But I guess I'm the last person you want to hear that from. Besides, you're not that kind of guy. Oh, right. I wanted to talk to you about something. I went back to the hospital to get a checkup on my knee. No one tell him. The results are in. It's 100% healed. They said I can run all I want now. Dude, I was so happy. I almost broke the doctor's back. I hugged him so hard. 
Cute. Thinking about it now, how would things have gone if I'd kept running through the pain? I was pushing too hard, only thinking about myself. I got pissed off when things didn't go my way. So I threw out the advice I got and shot my knee to hell. Man, I was such a moron. At least I can see it now. I kept saying it was all for my nephew, but in the end, it was just about my own damn pride. I got you, everyone on the team, and my parents all worried about me. I didn't even stop to notice. I was a real selfish brat. Don't worry about it, Kaz. <laughs> Thanks, man. Well, it took me this long, but at least I finally snapped out of it. Thanks, man. It's because of you I'm standing here on two feet. I swear, things will be different from here on out. I want to repay you all for what you've done for me. No more stubborn pride. I'm gonna listen to what others have to say. Even when it's not what I want to hear. Well, that's about it. I just wanted you not to me, man. break the news to first. I'll run around to the faculty office and club room later to let everyone else know. Have a good one. This is really I love that they did this, and I love that it's fully voice acted too. Dude, are you good? You look kinda tired. Oh man. Go home and get some rest, man. Good health is the most important part of training. We're still signed up for the spring tournament. If you slack off, I'm gonna leave you in the dust. Oh, they're totally gonna kill Man, me. I had everyone worried sick. Well, the Miyamoto family has a saying for times like these. Nothing repays a debt better than hard work. Just you watch. You're not looking too good. Gonna be a record breaker. All right, bathroom. I feel so exhausted. I can't keep my eyes open. That was it? Persona 3 Reload has the most? Yeah, and it's all stuff that wasn't voice acted before, right? I wonder what kind of chemistry we'll be doing as third years. I can't wait. Chemistry. Kisuke. Huh. Are you okay? You don't look well. Stop it. I hope I'm it's just... anemia. Should we get you to the nurse's office? Oh, of course you're going to be the one. Though, actually, that might be a bit hard for me. I guess I'll just tell you. So, I took the exam for the medical school I was hoping to go to, and I failed. I guess this is my first real failure in life. <laughs> so, starting in the spring, I'll be a student in training. I'll have to keep studying hard every day. Good luck next time, friends. I don't think I did badly, but exams tend to have a luck factor to them, too. Hmm. The old me would have just given up. I don't exactly have the strongest willpower, but now it's a different story. I want to be a doctor and save as many lives as I can. I want to protect the people I love. He still had the funniest, like his, his, uh, what, like his final social link or whatever it was, was the funniest. It wasn't intended, it wasn't supposed to be, but my god. There are a lot of different ways I can accomplish that. And the way I want to do it is through the power of healing. So from now on, I won't lose focus. Next year, I'm going to try again, and I'll pass with flying colors. Thank you. I think it was because of your help that I've changed so much. I'll be graduating a year earlier than you, but I won't forget about you. Love it. It's Kisuke from Cyber, Cyber Sleuth. Really? Thank you. When I'm a doctor, I'll give you free checkups, okay? No, that's that's all right, bud. Until then, promise you'll look after your health. You're not looking great now, to be honest. Just take care of yourself, okay? That's like really rude. Oh, hey, what happened to those apathy syndrome people? Just a while ago, it was like everyone in town had it. Kind of felt like the world was going to end. Oh, wait, I'm busy messaging my friend, so tell me all about it later. Akihiko's here, too? Hey, it's quite rare for us to bump into each other here, isn't it? True. I guess it's because I usually go straight to practice after class. But today, I felt like looking around the school before heading over. After all, this is my last day here. And days flew by in the blink of an eye. But at the same time, it felt like this year would last for an eternity. <laughs> I've dedicated all three years of high school to boxing, and nothing else. 
I'm pretty sure what happened was we sacrificed our lives to seal Nyx, because that was literally, I mean, that was it. But because of the promise that we made and the bond that we share with everybody, it kept us tied. But I think once, what I'm worried about is, and this is what I think they're doing, is that once we fulfill the promise to meet up with everybody, we're gonna die. And it really feels like that's what they're doing. Was there really nothing else? Well, there was. You'll remember Whatever. soon, I hope. It's nothing. I guess hanging out with everyone at the dorm counts as something. We even made pancakes together. Yeah! We had some good times. If we hadn't lived in the same dorm, we might have never met each other. It's hard to imagine. <laughs> I'll be leaving the dorm soon. But that doesn't change the fact that I'll always be your senpai. If you ever run into trouble, you can tag me in. Whatever happens, I'm on your side. He'll always be my senpai. Do you remember Shinji? Ah, I mean Naragaki. <laughs> Dude, Shinji at the end there? Oh my god. Shinji was supposed to graduate with me. I still can't believe that he was tracked into that incident. Do you remember Shin? Can't Shinji. believe he was dragged into that incident, but they don't. They're not saying what incident. Oh, there's so many people. Remember that incident about a month ago where everyone was standing outside in the middle of the night? I also went outside, but I don't remember what I was doing at all. Maybe it was because I was just worried about Kurijo Senpai moving to another country. Yeah, maybe that's the reason. So they remember being outside, but they don't remember why they were there. Third semester is almost over. After spring vacation ends, we'll be third years, and when that happens, we can't take it easy anymore. I think we were talking about this before, too, during the third semester of our first year. Yeah, the year flew by way too quickly. I need to start studying more seriously soon if I want to get into a good college. I think I said the same thing last year, too. I guess I haven't grown up at all since then. Uh, let's talk to Ono first. I think this is for Bebe. Andre. Laurent. Andre. Laurent Jean Jean Oh, too long. A samurai's name should be simple and short. Oh, you. This letter was sent to the school. It looks like it's addressed to one of our students. Wait, is this actually for you? The writing's so shaky, I didn't recognize your name. It's from an Andre something. I don't recall the student with such a foreign name. The only one that comes to mind is Bebe. Bebe. Sender's name is listed as Andre Laurent Jean Garot. Hello. It is me, Bebe. It is me, Bebe. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Bebe's unsteady scribbles feel the, fill the page. I can picture Bebe's smiling face. Writing in your language is difficult, so forgive me if it is hard to read. I learned a lot in Japan, but I still need lots of help. I write this with a dictionary. I showed Uncle the kimono. He said many wonderful things about it. He said Japan is a great country. I was thrilled to hear it. So I tell uncles that I want to go back to Japan. I tell him over and over. Finally, he says, okay. Don't be mean to Bebe. Bebe is the best. I can really feel Bebe's joy coming through in his letter. But I decided not to go back. I am sorry. I said I would come back, but it was a lie. That was like all he wanted to do. I didn't know. My aunt was not the only one who helped me study abroad. Uncle, relatives, neighbors, so many people helped me. They all wanted me to go back. They said they would help pay for it. But uncle is sad after he lost my aunt. While uncle grieves, I would not be able to enjoy myself in Japan. 
Never mind. That's a good reason. I cannot take everyone's money for my own fun. Besides, I can learn about Japan here in France too. And so in France I will stay. Someday I will return to Japan on my own without anyone's help. I can feel the determination in Bebe's words. I reflected on how fun it was to make clothes with you. So I enrolled in fashion school. I made some clothes for the school contest. And I won first prize. I have come up with a name for my winning design. A very wonderful name, I think. It is a name that means a lot to me. My name? Japan and France. You and me. All so far apart. But I am always here for you. No amount of distance will ever change that. Every day was so much fun. More fun than I have ever had. Aww. I hope I get to see you again someday. He's so cute. To my precious friend. Baby. Thanks, baby. The words near the end are smudged. Why was you crying? Poor guy. All right, uh, Fuka first. Oh, are you going home? You look a bit pale. Are you doing all right? Don't overwork yourself, okay? Maybe you should rest in the nurse's office before you leave. I was actually about to head to the faculty office. Would you like me to walk you downstairs? Everyone's like, I you look ugly. I to spend as much time with you as I can. Let's do it. I'd be happy to. Okay, let's head down to the faculty office together. Oh, it'll be kind of embarrassing to walk side by side at school, huh? That's one word. That's one way to describe it. Yamagishi, what are you doing outside the faculty office? Oh, well, I, I want to start a tech club. Tech clubs? Are you referring to technicians' clubs? I think you'd have to go to a hardware store for those. Um, not tech gloves. A tech Mr. Okoda is so useless. All about technology and electronics. I don't know how he has a job. You want to start a club now? Why is it always you, Yamagishi? Look, it's already March. Can't you at least wait until April? Huh? But I really want to get this group going. I promise I'll do my best to find members and all that. So, do I have your permission to start the club? What? You don't even have any members yet? Then it's not even worth discussing. You can't start a club without at least five members. Now, I must be going. He's such a jerk. And he's gone. Well, looks like I need to find five people now. Uh, would you like to join my tech club? Something tells me you're going to need to find somebody else. Yes! I'm so happy to hear that. I was hoping you'd help me. You know, I used to think it was wrong for me to like electronics. I always kept it to myself. Because I thought it was a strange thing for a girl to be interested in. But 2009. me for who I am. That's why I decided to be strong and let everyone know who I really am. Even if people think I'm strange, I know it's okay. I have you with me, so there's nothing to be scared of. Now I want to meet more people like me and hang out with them. Since I kept my love of electronics hidden, I never had any friends who shared my interests. That's why I thought I'd try starting a club all about it. Because maybe there are other people out there who like this stuff too. And if so, I want a way to talk to them. I do admit I'm a little nervous, though. Yeah, I, yeah. But don't worry. Like you are 99% of the time. I'll probably get really busy, but I want to keep trying. It's like jumping off the diving board at the pool. That kind of feeling. You'll stay in our club next year, too, won't you? I don't know, but I'd like to, yeah. Next year, I want to be in whatever clubs you're in. 
I'd like to be in the same home room too, and I'd love to see you more at the dorm. I think I just want to be with you more in general. I keep asking more of you, don't I? If there's anything I can do for you, don't hesitate to ask. I still feel like I just want to protect her and make her cookies. I want to get to know you better. I want to be closer to you. Oh, I've got to hurry and find some club members. And I need to make recruitment posters too. Well, I'll see you later. Next time, maybe we can talk about it more in my room. <laughs> now <laughs> I really have to go. Bye. Do not. She's just like a little. She's just a little. A little she's just some. She's just a little girl. I don't want to talk to Mitsuru yet. Uh, who are you for? Track team advisor? Oh, uh, for Mamoru? Mamaru? What was his name? Oh, so... I wonder if all of these are going to be... No, there's other ones to talk. Okay. For you. This came for you. It's from Hayase. Hayase is, is yeah, yeah. Sorry he's gone. Oof, he was a heck of an athlete. But it's good news for us. Well, there's nothing standing between us and total victory. Well, what is Akinari's gonna be? Oh no. I better read it. How's it going? I don't know your address, so I'm sending this to the school. Hayase's firm handwriting fills the page. He ended up being, like, I liked his social link, but I think... I'm doing good. I'm starting to get used to the job, too. His was just kind of like... The real reason I'm writing is because of track. It didn't really go anywhere. Before, I'd pretty much given up hope of ever continuing. Except there was a part of me that refused to let it go. I don't care what it sounds like. Track and field was my whole life. I can tell Hayase was in a good mood when he wrote that. I guess the factory manager realized what's up and he wants to help me out. We're going to make a track team here. Well, I call it a team, but it's really just a few guys at the factory. We practice after work and sometimes on our days off. The other day we did endurance swimming at Lake Biwa. We've even climbed Mount Ie. That's cool. We don't have fancy P5 soon. So we're not as efficient, but I'm still having a blast. Most of the guys are just in it for fun, so I don't really get to do any serious training. By but soon, I, I mean like not soon. Not soon. For them. How about you? You're still at it, right? I'm sure you're just going to keep getting better and better. It's weird how badly I want to see you improve. I almost had you, dude. One day, you and I are going to go at it again. And if I'm going to be a good rival, then I've got a lot of work to do. It feels nice having a goal to work toward. Almost forgot what it was like. Oh, yeah, and my mom's getting better. She's in a long-term care facility with lots of fresh air. My relatives and friends come by the house, so my siblings are in good hands, too. Good. Things have been pretty great these days. I feel like I can take care of the people who matter to me. It's really fulfilling. And I get to feel that way because of you. So, thank you. Can't wait to see you again. Hey, you can post it on Discord. The letter ends there. Sucosis looks pretty dope. I'll have to catch up on it after. I want to watch the... I want to... See all this stuff. This is the culmination of everything. Oh. Are you okay? You don't look so good. You should get home and rest before it gets worse. Everyone's like, you're... You are so ugly. Um, oh, sorry. This isn't the time to talk about that. 
What is it? Hmm. Um, I suppose I can tell you. It's nothing important, though. She's gonna get a little crazy now. Look at this flyer over here. The dark history of student-teacher romance? I don't know nothing about that. Fall in love with who they want. There's nothing wrong with that. I can see why it would be a problem if it was between a teacher and a student, but that doesn't give them the right to make fun of it like this. I'm going to write a letter of protest to the school paper. Oh, I'll be all right on my own. I'm going to do this by myself. Thank you, Senpai. There's one thing I've decided for myself. People shouldn't make fun That's of not what? Much, but I'd like to continue on the student council for next year, too. It was because of you that I was able to change. I know that for a fact. And I never would have met you if I hadn't joined the student council. And I, you. That's why I want to stay involved. At least, I hope I can. <sighs> she said it's not fair to make to fun of. I like myself more teacher in student romances it's not fair we haven't beat this technically we beat it we're in the this is the epilogue or at least i assume it is i don't think they're gonna surprise me and be like oh boss fight i want to be able to like myself more oh and i want you to like me more too i want to be the first one you think of that's why, um, I love you. <sighs> Thanks, Chihiro. What am I saying? I, I can't believe I said something like that at school. I, I'm sorry. School? W well then, please excuse me, but maybe next time we could go home together. I have so many places I'd like to see, and I want to visit each and every one of them with you. Never saw her again. Poor Chihiro. Some of the stuff she says is actually like things an ex of mine would say. Somebody said not to fast travel. I don't know if that means like anything will happen if I do that. Um, I guess we'll talk to Mitsuru. There's two. Let's talk to this one first. I can hear Miss Toriyumi's voice from inside. Are we finally going to get the, like, a, like them saying? I could try to talk to her that she's Maya. Anyway, you've been different lately, Miss Toriyumi. You're looking more and more like a professional. Your lesson the other day really caught my eye. It seemed like you spent a lot of time preparing it. I've never seen you so passionate about teaching before. She kind of reminds me of like a like a off-brand Daphne from Scooby-Doo. It's unparalleled. Unparalleled. Well, yes, I have been studying while making preparations lately. Things like how to best communicate the lessons I'm looking to teach. <laughs> I guess it does seem kind of out of the blue, huh? <sighs> the thing is, I've decided to stop wasting my time only looking at what's right in front of me. How wonderful! Did she quit an MMORPG and is turning her life around? We could all learn a little something from her. I'm impressed by your change of heart. What brought this on? Well, when I was just goofing off one weekend, I met someone. After that, I took a closer look at my life. That person... Wait, they were real, right? They had to be. They're confirming it! Ah, uh, yes, I understand. I myself once had a similar epiphany. Now that I think about it, I met my darling husband thanks to a destiny called fate. Uh destiny called fate isn't that a bit redundant besides you should be careful what you say to a single woman <laughs> anyway if you'll excuse me 
The teachers seem busy. I should get out of the way. Oh! Oh, uh, is everything okay? Do you need something? You don't look well. Uh, maybe you should go to the nurses. Uh, wait, you dropped something. What? Huh? This phone wallpaper. Now, now, mister. No cell phones at school. Hmm? That screen. I read downward. Love you. My. What a charming confession of love. We m Did you make this? We set that as our background? It's from my girlfriend. Your girlfriend? <sighs> God, never mind that. What's going on? Why do you have this screen cap? Oh. Shh. Don't I'm trying to don't, stop. I'm trying to tell me you got it online. The only ones who were on that server were. Stop talking. You're getting. Stop talking. No. It couldn't be. There's no way. Are you kidding? No. 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 Calm down, Mr. Yumi. Help. Someone call a doctor. <laughs> She's like. Free. Oh, no. Don't tell me. You're. Tatsuya, I, uh, I said all that to you. That is so embarrassing. I, 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 oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh no. This can't be happening. I quit this school. I'm leaving. I'm never coming back. Oh, I can't live with this. Just kill me now. Hello, Maya-san. <laughs> no, I won't say that. That seems rude. Um, I... I'm... <laughs> Maya. I'm Maya. I, I yeah, I, I know. It's me, damn it. You got a problem with that? Don't... Should've said it. Why don't you say something? Jeez, idiot. This is so embarrassing. That's true. But there was one thing I wanted to say. If we ever met face to face. I I was able to turn my life around thanks to you. So, um, thank you. <laughs> Wipe that smile off your face, or I'll wipe it off for you with my fists. Actually, maybe we anyway, should date. Never mind. If you don't mind. If you don't mind. Uh, maybe we could have dinner. Okay, now it's weird. Go to hell with this. Now it's weird. Damn, girl. Yo. Um, isn't that the way? Where's the... Oh, no. It's the other way. I guess we just talked to Mitsuru. It doesn't matter which order we... It's fine. I don't think it does anyways. You don't look well. Are you tired? Try not to overdo it. Uh, I'm sorry. I should try not to call you that in public. Okay, so we do have a relationship. <sighs> yeah, we're still going. We're in the epilogue. We just finished mean, watching the... Chat Summer Games time. Fest. I have some business to take care of later on, but I'd like to talk with you until then. Sure. Thank you. In that case, why don't we go to the student council room? I'd like to see it one last time. How many hours in this game? Uh, 250? This room feels so nostalgic, even though the entrance exams have only kept me away for a short while. You hear a lot of people not happy with how Summer Games Fest went. Those people are literally the just incapable of being happy.
The results haven't been posted yet. I'm fairly confident that I passed. If that's the case, then this spring I'll formally become a college student. And that means nice. I'll no longer be seeing this view. Unfortunately, I don't have much time to spare today. The company heads are conducting a briefing. The Kirijo group may appear strong, but it's actually rather frail. It could collapse at any time. I have to keep it together. Any way I can help? <laughs> of course. In fact, there's something that only you can do. Who else is going to help me clear my head when I need a change of pace? It's thanks to you that I learned to feel comfortable in my own skin. Beyond my identity as a Kirijo. Before long, I'll be taking my leave from the dorm as well. I've begun packing up my things, but I haven't made significant progress. My books, my clothes, my photos. Every one of them brings back memories. It's been a short but eventful three years. It all went by so fast. Especially the year that you came. Whenever we spoke or passed each other in the dorm, I felt like my heart would burst. I never knew I had these emotions just waiting to be given permission to be felt. Aww. I wonder what would have become of me if you hadn't transferred to the school. If I hadn't met you, would I have gone through with the arranged marriage? Or would I have gotten on my motorcycle and left it all behind? Fate is... A mysterious thing. Well, there's no point in dwelling on the past. There are things that need to be done for the future of the Kirijo group, as well as my own. And for your future as well. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Me Come and you, introduce baby. yourself to the heads of the family sometime. Don't worry, you'd only be saying hello. I'd just like them to know who you are. Well, it's almost time. I'd best be on my way. I'd love to see you back at the dorm, but I'll be out late tonight. Perhaps this weekend? Just the two of us? <laughs> who else will lend me their shoulder when I need a little support? You're the only one who can do this for me. Go on. Try and name someone who could do the same. Akihiko? <laughs> Was that a bit much? Well, now you know how serious I am. I need you in my life. <laughs> well, we'll see. Now then, if you'll excuse me. You know, so far, all of these relationship ones, I feel like Yukari's seemed like the only one that was genuine, like, I just like, I just want to be around you because I like being around you, you know? Everyone else is like, oh, I depend on you or I needed, I needed you for this or, like, I know she does a little bit too, but. Huh. Yeah, I don't know how the memories... I don't know how the memories is working. I don't know why with some of us it's fine. Can I go this way? No. Oh, wait, what did it say? Having a druid rehab, I'm sure Miyamoto will do well in the spring tournament. Well, he's fully healed now, right? Indoor swimming pool. Never got to see that, did we? Or no, we did it like a little bit. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how the memory stuff is working right now. Cause yeah, they don't remember they don't remember everything, but like even Junpei was like, well, I have a special someone. Wait, I do have a special someone, don't I? I had it like I had it. Ken, what's up, dude? Now, let me talk to this person first. Waiting for my boyfriend. He's gonna walk me home today, but I'm not feeling as anxious as I used to. Okay, good for you. Oh, Senpai. Hey. I'm glad I found you. It was kind of nerve-wracking to come to the high school campus all by myself. Anyway, I'm here to drop off something Sonata-san forgot. He's usually so put together, but sometimes he can be just a little scatterbrained. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. That little chuckle is cute. Speaking of forgetfulness, do you remember someone named Aragaki-san? He was at the dorm for a little while. I didn't really talk with him all that much. Whenever he crosses my mind, I feel this ache in my chest, and unbearably sad. It's as if I've forgotten something important, though I'm not sure what. 
I get the feeling that there was something I had to do. I just don't know what it is or why I feel this way. Oh, um, sorry about that. You were really easy to talk to, so I kept going on and on. I appreciate that you always listen to what I have to say, though, Senpai. You're you welcome. You went with me to buy tea, and you don't treat me like I'm just a little kid. So, um, thanks for everything. No problem, bud. Still just a kid, aren't I? I wish there was a way for me to grow up more quickly. No matter how grown up I try to act, people still end up protecting me. That's such a kid thing to say, too. There's always someone sheltering me. I wonder if I'll ever be strong enough to protect someone else instead. That's it, right? I'll be a third year soon, which means I'll be studying for exams every single day, but that doesn't mean I'm giving up the hunt for mysterious stuff like that observatory. It's what makes me interesting to talk to. Growing up is a trap. It's a trap. Can't wait to dive in. I hope you get to. Time flies, huh? I spent the whole year stalking and being stalked. I have to spend my time more wisely next year. <laughs> I'll be a third year soon, and then all I'll be doing is studying for my entrance exams. That's going to suck. I mean, how am I going to be able to study if I can't stop thinking about her? Did they flip-flop again? Look at the school, man. It looks great. Should be Moon Kid and Tanaka here, right? Oh, and Tower. Things have really calmed down over the last month. It's like that cult thing never happened. All I'm worried about now is my son's exam results. He says he's confident, but we'll see. Those motionless people are all but gone and everything's back to normal. I'm glad that's all I have to worry about is my kid's uh, university entrance exams. Cheerful old man. Tanaka is not here. Oh, the... Okay, so we can't go into any of the places now, huh? Puts me in the mood to look for a new sweetheart or something. We have her. Welcome. Sorry, but we're closed today. Oh, wait, you're the weird kid who comes by often. You're an odd one to be this interested in antiques. Especially since you're always getting... What was it? Sorry, my memory hasn't been great lately. Ah, oh, that's cool. Come visit again tomorrow. I'll try to remember by then. I don't think we can. Maybe I should stop by sometime and buy normal antiques. Everyone's outside. Why do you look so grim? You come here a lot, don't you? You shouldn't rely so much on medicine, you know? You're still young. You should build strength by exercising, eating well, and doing schoolwork. Don't worry obsessively over your health. That's the doctor's job. Ha ha. Yeah, I don't think we can go into any places. I learned valuable, countless valuable lessons from the games here. Sure did. Completed the collection. My friend was surprised too. Hey, he finally did it. He spent forever doing that. The whole damn game. Aren't you the boy who used to talk to the monk upstairs? He actually called here trying to reach you. It seems like he was wondering how you were doing. Come to think of it, Tatsu. I think he left a message for you. What was it he said again? Hey, hey, don't give me that look. Just hang on a sec. Ah, found it. Here you go. I actually wrote it all down. Didn't think I had it in me, did you? Let's see. Oh, man, the handwriting is awful. Who the hell wrote this? You did. Are you found drunk? my wife and son. My son's still a good-for-nothing punk. And my wife is frigid as usual. She's like an old witch. What do you want? I'm on the phone. Hey, don't write this down, all right? What's <laughs> happened? But I apologized a thousand times, and I worked to make things right. I guess you could say we fell in love all over again. I realized, instead of holding on to my pride, I needed to just suck it up and apologize. It's all thanks to you. Well, you take care, kid. If it's meant to be, we'll see each other again. That's the gist of it. I'm pretty sure I got everything he said. Oh, and don't bother asking for a number. He didn't say. But like he said, you'll see him again if it's meant to be. Don't they say, like, fate lies in God's hands or something? Oh, wait, that'd be Buddha for the monk. <laughs> Anyways, that's that. If fate does bring you two back together, why don't you come party over here again? That's great. Hi, Revo. The monk left you a bottle tag, didn't he? Yeah, I'd give you the bottle, but how many years will it be until you're old enough to drink? Well, I'll save it specially for you. Until then, make sure you stick to soft drinks. I'll see you around. Yeah, there's there's like definitely some some stuff with like memories and whatnot that I'm a little uh, confused about. 
I've worked part-time here many times. The people at the cafe grew to trust me, and even, I even earned a pay raise. The Blue V. I remember undergoing some sort of mysterious treatment here with someone. Kurosawa. It's you. Is school over already? I'm surprised he is in voice acted. I loved it. I thought it was really good. It's been a long time since we've just talked like this. Sorry, I don't quite remember how things went down. Well, in any case, the months are going to go by quickly. Make sure you enjoy your school life so you don't have any regrets. Tatsumi East Police Station. Officer Kurosawa, Kurosawa helped us a lot. I think I first met him in April of last year when Sonata asked to meet up here. You did. That's true. Oh, no! What is this? Oh, that game's gonna be so much fun. Mandragora. I could feel I could feel my courage being tested whenever I sing solo karaoke here. Yeah, in September when the answer comes out, absolutely. Apps of fork and lootly. Yes. I have no idea what that is or what it's about, but yes. I guess we didn't go here yet. The year went by quickly. It's true that nothing's changed the past year, but I'm not too worried about that. He's just a straightforward kind of guy, and that's the way I like him. It's been a year, huh? That was fast. Nothing's really happened with us in that year. Oh. oh. Yeah, some what-if scenarios being brought back. There's this college I really want to get into, so I guess I'll put in the effort. Did I say anything about screenshot? It's too crowded right now. I actually never saw a movie. Some real weird crap happened a month ago, huh? Like when all those... A month ago? When all those people went outside at midnight, what was that all about? Though to be honest, it was kind of cool. Felt like the climax of a movie. I guess it was close to a month ago, sure. Thanks for always coming by. It's almost the season for cherry blossoms. Do you know the meaning of cherry blossom? They say it's don't forget about me. Oh, topical. Spring is supposed to represent new beginnings, so I wonder why its flower meaning is so sad. I know why. Oh yeah, those apathy syndrome people disappeared. I wonder why. Well, I don't really care as long as the trains run on time. Sounds pretty apathetic to me, dude. Wait a minute. Fin uh, oh yeah, yeah. Hey, familiar looking. Wait, is that? Wait, that's that's Mean Sean. Wait, the cat didn't die. What about the grandmother? Wait. That's the same looking cat. Don't mess with me. Is this the suspicious man? I didn't expect to see you somewhere other than the club. There's been a lot of discussion on the internet lately about cults and mysterious incidents. But I'm sure whoever knows what's really going on isn't on the internet. Besides, even if there were an explanation, I'm not sure I could trust it. Or is it the black cat? I'm not sure. The the white and black one is looks just like Michan. What's true and what's false? Those who cannot discern the difference will not survive. Well, I guess these also say familiar looking cat, so maybe they're ones we saved. Uh from Tartarus. Could just be that too. I'd like to think though that it's Michan. Dude, do you remember anything we did this entire past year? I just remember ch chilling here. That's it. Man, I hate to say this, but what a waste of time. Dude, that's literally all you did. Looks like that cult is history after those three weirdos were sent packing. Everything's finally back to normal. I'm bored as hell, but it's better than going through all that shit again. What happened to their bodies, I wonder? I recall getting a non-alcoholic drink here that shares a name with someone. I vaguely remember her being very pleased when I gave it to her. Gather my courage once and went inside here. I don't have it anymore. I don't have it anymore, but I remember receiving a Mahjong tile then. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Allowed us to make um, a persona. Well, all of all of the cats say familiar cat, so I'm wondering if they're ones that we rescued from Tartar Sauce. Mike, uh, Maiko shouldn't be here. Akinari's not here either, but it does look like. Oh, what happens if we? I'll pray. What was that strange voice I just heard inside my head? Maybe I just imagined it. Oh. It's an offertory. There's nothing in particular I want to wish for at the moment. Interesting. Hmm? Is this Maiko's dad? Ah, it's you, right? I'm Maiko's father, if you remember. Yeah. Do you have a minute to talk? I've been dwelling a little on what happened. Perfect. Uh, if you don't mind, let's take a walk down to the takoyaki stand. I'll buy you some. 
My treat. That's cute. The food there sure is good. But you knew that already, didn't you? I feel like maybe he should yell at us for hanging out with his little kid. When I see this place, I remember all the times I'd come here with Maiko. She came here when she ran away from home, too. She really loved the takoyaki. She's a good girl. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. She's so good that I wonder if she's really my own child sometimes. She actually sent me a letter recently. It's chock full of details about her new life. She said she's made a lot of friends. Let's see. She's in charge of the rabbits at her new school and oh. had to get up early to clean the cages. They scolded her for forgetting her PE uniform. She forgot her homework and had to copy her friends. I guess she can be a bit absent-minded. I never knew that about her. Oh, and she did so well on her recorder test that she was asked to perform in front of everyone. Michael. Then she went on to talk about how she plays at the park by the school with her friends every day. Her mother's doing well, too. They're having a lot of fun together. <sighs> having fun. Must be nice. Nowadays, I just come home to an empty house. The rooms feel so big without those two around. I wonder if she feels the same way, living in a home with no father in it. Uh, we put her through so much because of our own problems. I feel terrible about it. By the way, I've actually got a bone to pick with you, too. Maiko must have really liked you, huh? She wrote all about it. I can't wait to grow up. Oh. I'm drinking lots of milk. I'm going to marry him someday. Oh, shit. I... That... That, that was, that was. What the hell is that about you, little punk? No, he's not, dude, I just. You were taking advantage of my little Micah, weren't Jesus, you? no. Maybe I, I haven't been the best dad. I'm still her father, damn it. And I'm not letting a guy like you touch my daughter with a 10-foot pole. I'll never let you marry her. And don't you forget it. I do deserve it. We were hanging out with like a little kid at a park. It was a little weird. A little weird. Takoyaki is both delicious and cheap. How about some? What's wrong? You're awfully quiet. You look pale. You should probably go. Even you? Be bad for business if you ate my takoyaki and then passed out. Maybe I'm really hungry and that's why I look pale. Did you ever consider that? <gasps> Did you get a cat? Oh, that cat? He's not here. My mom said it was okay to take him home and I came the next day to pick him up, but he was gone. That means he was free, right? So I bet things will be better for him this way. It's okay. I won't look for him. Oh, I know he's doing great somewhere out there. He never got a cat. I'm not fond of animals, it's true. But after seeing my son get that serious, I felt like I should give it a chance. I wish I would have made that decision earlier. Yeah, jeez. Gourmet magazine reporter. I wonder... I heard he had a hand in the hidden menu at Hagakure as well. Oh, Yes, I've heard the same story. They say he tried a bite of some dish. Then he said it could use some fish flakes. So he put some in and sure enough, it was delicious. Now it's an item on our hidden menu. I'm a big fan of it myself. I had him come up with some ideas for Wokatsu too. The gourmet king. Yes, he's the one. Sui Mitsu can put our coffee on the map too. Sure, his appearance and behavior are, how should I say this? Eccentric, but he knows everything about food and his palate is refined. He's in a league of his own among gourmands There is not a restaurateur around here who doesn't know him. Is he that famous? Hell yeah, gourmet king So when you heard he was planning to leave to tour the country I was shocked and disappointed of course, but I'm glad to hear he's doing well for himself I hear he's got a book coming out. It's very exciting even when he's far away I can still feel him. Uh, wait, don't run that. Are the rumors about a King Suimitsu statue being built in this shopping district true? <laughs> oh, yes. I can't wait. I'll be rubbing it every day for good luck. Oh, are you a student what? in the area? Do you mind if we get a few words from you? Are you familiar with the high school student known as the Gourmet King? He's my best friend. But I'd heard he wasn't interested in anything except food. 
I taught him everything he knows. You know him in the same way everyone else around here knows him. Thanks for your time. I'd love a chance to meet him myself one day. The interview continues. We don't get to hear from him though, huh? From Suimitsu? Everyone else got like a letter. Did you eat the special Hagakure ramen? I heard that if you eat it with a friend, you'll be friends forever. Might just be a another rumor, but when I'm as old as you, I'm gonna go have... <gasps> Hang on, let me check with this guy first. I saw you get another job, but I've been keeping a secret from my wife and daughter. So even if I don't succeed, I've got a plan B. I guess that's how the world works. People think nothing of ruining someone else's life. You're hiding a job from your fan? How do you do that? I just gotta do my best. I'll deal with that. What, is it like an OnlyFans? What about you kids? Are you satisfied with your lives? So satisfied that we fought for them. Boonkichi. Well, well, look who it is. It's been a while. You've grown so much since the last time I saw you. Now, now, dear. They don't grow that fast. They're working out. What must have happened is that we shrank. <laughs> Isn't that right? Oh, 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 is that how it is? like you got one over on me. Say, you, you know our old shop here, uh, Bookworms? I'm thinking it's due for a makeover. Something fresh, avant-garde. I can't let Gekukan's new school building hog the spotlight. It's fine the way it is. Oh, you think so? Yeah. I suppose that's just as well. I'm honored you like the place, young man. Speaking of the new school building, they've decided to replant the persimmon tree. It'll be moved to a special location on a hill overlooking the whole campus. Our dear boy will be able to watch over those students for many more years to come. I know the tree isn't actually our son, and yet this makes me feel so happy. Aww. Ever since my dear heard the news, She's turned into a leaky faucet. Come on, give me a smile. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Please, dear. I think your dentures are falling out. Anyhow, <laughs> we'll be supporting the GeckoCon students with renewed strength in our hearts. Looking at you again, you really did grow, didn't you? You've overcome great hardships, I can tell. Come back and visit us anytime. We'd always love to see you. Oh, they're the, they're the definitely the cutest the word social link. It's great. Be no end to our customers. Not a bad idea, eh, dear? Come now, don't make him do our work for us. You don't have to put it like that. Besides, what are grandchildren for? Oh. Oh, you. Oh. If we come now, okay. you don't have. To. I thought I saw blue. I didn't. Oh. They're so cute. He called me his grandson. Thought about following Nick Sama to see if I could get my family back, but that wouldn't have helped. It was my fault sticking with this job and ignoring them. I'm thinking about. So you remember Nick's? What? Thinking about going to see my wife and trying to patch things up with her. So they do know about, like. My teacher is quiet, but he's so nice. He's the greatest. When our graduation comes, I'm going to tell him gra how grateful I am. Yeah, I'm super. I just don't know what. The, like, I don't get it. Uh, we had. Did we have another one in Polonia Mall? No, this Nakanaki Shrine brought us over there. Akinaris. What is this going to be? Middle-aged lady. Hello there. Oh, excuse me. Are you? I, yes. <laughs> so it was you. Oh, excuse me. I'm Miss Kamiki, Akinari's mother. My son talked about you a lot. I was just thinking about him. If you have time, would you like to stay and talk for a while? Oh. That's wonderful. Please sit down. Today is a special day. What a coincidence seeing you today. It must be another one of God's whims. Today is my son's, Akinari's birthday. He'd be 20 if he was still alive. 
only 19 years. It was too soon. He was almost an adult, but he never made it. Akinari had a genetic disease. I'm completely healthy, but him... <sighs> the doctors detected it when he was born. They knew he wouldn't live to see adulthood. Every day, I worried whether he'd wake up the next morning. I blamed myself for what he inherited. But he said something to me near the end. I'm sorry to have brought so much pain into your life, Mother. I'm glad that I was born into this world. I'm glad to have been your son. Thank you for the life you've given me. He... He suffered so much, and yet he still said that to me. He did. But... Akinari brought me so much happiness, too. Feeling his warmth as I carried him in my arms after he was born. Those tiny hands. <laughs> that first smile. Hearing his breathing as he slept at night. Every day, I was so grateful he was alive. <laughs> Every day, I found new joy in him. <laughs> now, I'm so alone. <laughs> and there's nothing I can do. My boy gave me so much. I Jesus. have to keep going. Looking straight ahead. That's how I want to live. I'll eat the finest foods. Visit the most exotic places. I'll do everything. Absolutely everything that Akinari couldn't. I'll have so many stories to tell him about the things I've done. On that day, when we meet again on the other side, if I didn't have that to look forward to, I don't know how I could go on. That reminds me, when my son's condition worsened, he started writing a children's story. But when I was cleaning out his room, I never found his notebook. He said he wanted you to be the first one to see it. When he was done, then he laughed and said I would be second. <laughs> I suppose he wasn't able to finish the story. No, he did. I have it. What? My son, he gave it to you? Yeah. I explained how I received the notebook from Kamiki and then I heard and that I heard the entire story. I I see. So you did. I'm wow. so glad. That was my only regret. It was awful to think that he wasn't able to finish his project. Oh, you should hold on to his notebook. I'm sure that's what he would want to. I'll hear the story from him directly when I see him on the other side. Now I have one more thing to look forward to. I'm glad I could finally meet you. Thank you. Before I go, let this old woman give you one piece of advice. Take good care of the ones you hold dear. If you wait until their day comes, it's too late. Clinging to their cold bodies won't bring them back. Everyone who's born will die someday, not just Akinari. Or me, or even you. It's all the same. So before that happens, it doesn't take a grand gesture. You don't have to make a big production of it. But if you love someone, let them know it. We all go through life with the same struggles. The same heartbreak. We should all lift each other up with the same love and kindness as well. I'm sure you have something precious you can share with people too. Jesus Don't Christ. Don't forget it. I love you. I love you, chat. I wanna go hug my dogs now. And Deidre.
Kamiki's mother left without looking back. Oh, man. That was, uh... That was a lot. I need a shot. Damn. Like... Damn. That was beautiful, but damn. Koromaru? Yep, I see him. There he is. Lord of Puppy Dog. We, he stayed living with us, right? I swear, it seems like Koromaru is worried about me. I probably look like a mess. I'll get some rest later. Koromaru's expression brightened. He seems relieved. Koromaru isn't budging from his spot. Guess he won't be leaving anytime soon. Did I go see the other floors? There wasn't anything up there. You can, like, check the thing. Maybe I should head inside. Oh, there's Tanaka. The TV has been left on. It's showing the news right now. Coming up next. A special report on the Amazing Commodities Corporation, producer of Tanaka's Amazing Commodities. President Tanaka has made an undisclosed private expenditure that caused quite a stir in the media. With us is our reporter live on scene. Take it away. I'm reporting from the Amazing Commodities head office where a swarm of journalists has convened. Word has it that President Tanaka will be coming out shortly to make a statement. The tension in the air is thick. Thank you. We'll be looking forward to updates as things unfold. Back to the studio. The unaccounted for expenditure has sparked a massive investigation. Some theorize he is guilty of tax evasion. Oh, no question. This is President Tanaka we're talking about. All he cares about is lining his own pockets. And he does it by swindling his own viewers. He could become the richest man on the planet and still never be satisfied. Is that I Rocket Raccoon? Some of that money for a change. Damn Scrooge. W well, I'm sure he's not as bad as all that. Oh, this just in. Something's happened at the scene. President Tanaka has emerged. <laughs> he's carrying a microphone. It, it looks like he's about to sing. Ready to go in your TV. Tanaka's commodities. Everybody's ultimate friend in greed. Hi, everyone. Amazing Commodities is here for you year-round. Rain or shine, we have a monopoly on the cheapest, highest quality goods. Our customers shout for joy so loud it's considered noise pollution. Our stocks rise so high they're a hazard to birds. And we make losers every day out of people who don't buy. We're the only miracle left in this sad, desolate world. That's the amazing commodities guarantee. We look forward to your business. So he didn't learn much. I thought I thought he did. Okay, President Tanaka's car drove off. Oh, he, he's gone. What the hell are you doing? You call yourself a reporter. If you can't get one lousy comment out of him, you're just giving him free advertising. We'll have to interrupt you there as we've just received a fax. It, it's from President Tanaka. The message reads, Hi, this is Tanaka, the best friend your pocketbook ever had. <laughs> what's in my pocketbook is my own business. It's not my company's money. So what's it to them how I use it? But let me make one thing clear. I am not ashamed of a single thing. My contents is clear, dear viewers. So buy my products, guilt-free. Amazing commodities, here for you year-round, rain or shine. Buy now, or you'll miss your chance. You'll see. Bye bye Apparently, he had no intention of revealing his use for the funds. Oh, he told us he, he wanted no it. Shame. Oh, this Tanaka guy. 
Just because he's made some money for himself doesn't mean that we're his little playthings. What was it he said he On wanted to do? The people, I have something to say, and I am not afraid to say it. Fat pigs like him who gorge themselves on the excesses of capitalism should be. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> this concludes our special report. Yeah, yeah, no anyway. Clues as to the utilization of said funds, we can only hope that they went to humanitarian purposes. Next up, your daily glimpse into the stock market. Did you say he was doing something for like students or something? Amazing commodity stocks have suddenly skyrocketed. The report continues. My whole body feels sluggish. I'm too exhausted to fight the fatigue. The third year's graduation ceremony is tomorrow. I should head to bed early tonight. Oh, hi, Yukari. Wait, so I can't go? The names of all the students who live here are written down. So I can't go to Tartar Sauce right now? Just kidding. I experienced so much in just one year. Yeah, he's, I, he said something that he was planning on doing that. It's a photo of Sonata Mitsuru in Aragaki. Oh, yeah! Seems like Aragaki is smiling faintly. Oh, I love that you can see that. Have you seen this photo before? There's Sonata Senpai, Kirijo Senpai, and, and that one student who passed away last year in an incident. Uh, Aragaki Senpai? Yeah, that's, that's, that's his name. I always thought he looked kind. He oh. seems so kind. It's a really nice picture. Wait, what was the? And they all look so young. So maybe this is from when they started high school. I wonder if Aragaki Senpai also used to live in the dorms. I always thought he looked kind of scary, but in this picture, he seems so kind. I thought she. I thought she knew that, or like some of them did. Can I... Feeling very tired. I should go to bed early today. No, I guess. I guess it's the only one we didn't see. I've got a text message. Cinder's name is blank. Who is this from? Thank you. Elizabeth, maybe? There was a scandal, scandal surrounding him, but it seems like he's doing well anyway. Feeling terribly exhausted. That's it though, huh? Hmm. But what about the computer? Can I do anything with that? Probably not. Maya and I spent a lot of time together in that game. She realized something important through the game and applied it in her real life too. I think this is all I can do right now. Go night nights. Hey, March 5th, Friday. It's Friday. It's me, I guess. May I please come in? Just a second. Thank goodness. I'm so happy to see you again. I'm sorry to show up so suddenly, but... I really needed to talk to you. What's on your mind? She remembers. I remember everything. It seems like everyone else has forgotten. But I remember. That day we... Yeah, we did. So I do I'm remember. Sorry. It's just that when I remembered, I was afraid you might go somewhere far away. Like you did during the last battle. I'm not going anywhere. I Today don't know if that's graduation true. graduation day. Isn't it? I'm sorry. The ceremony's already begun. The weather is so nice outside. Do you remember where we all promised to meet? Why don't we go ahead and wait for the others? We can enjoy the peaceful view of the city. Oh, they totally are. They're totally going to do it. Yep. Damn. I was hoping they would, like, not. <laughs> the time to part has finally come. 
Though this is our last day together, we want the third year class to know that we're truly proud of you. We wish each of you good health, happiness, and success. On this momentous occasion, I bid you all a fond farewell on behalf of the student body. Next, a word from the valedictorian. From Class D, Mitsuru Kirijo-san. Thank you. I hope she like remembers Class while D, giving I the accepted speech. I an important responsibility as student council president. When I first addressed you from this podium, I spoke to you all about seizing opportunity while you had the chance. It must have been fate that intervened and gave me an important reminder of this. As many of you know, my father unexpectedly... He unexpectedly passed away due to sudden illness. Sudden illness? Wow, that's rare. I've never heard her stumble in a speech before. It's a big day. It must be tough to talk about her father. Oh, that's cool. Oh. I remember now. That's right. After my father died. There was a time I lost motivation to live my life. Uh, am I forgetting something? Sonata Senpai? What are you doing? Kurumaru! <laughs> but no longer. I shall honor my father's will. I won't run from the future. I'll face it head on. Not a single doubt remains in my mind. And the reason. <laughs> I promise. Damn it. <sighs> Mitsuru. That's right. It's because I have forged such wonderful friendships. And we swore that we would never lose hope, no matter what the future may bring. Senpai, we remembered him, and I guess. Yes, I did as well. Let's go. They're waiting. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, hello? This is a ceremony. Ah. They're totally gonna... Oh, this is gonna hurt. I decided to try and prevent the fall, 
something inside me clicked. When I thought about how I might never see you again, that's when I first understood what mattered to me the most. And so, I made up my mind. What I want is to protect you from now until the end of time. I want to stay by your side. And I know I'm not the only one out there who could do this. But still, I want to. Because I'm positive. If I do it for you, then nothing's a waste. My life will have meaning. So, thank you. Oh, we got a choice here? Oh, fuck. It's okay. Sorry. What's gotten into me? It's good. I finally found a reason to live. So why am I... someone can be enough that's all we need to give our lives meaning oh, dude. as for me I found my path and that's to protect you with my life going anywhere in a moment the others will be joining us I'm getting sleepier Ouch. That was great. Damn. They uh they stuck the landing for sure, huh? Woo. 
Oh, man. There's also something about, like, obviously the ending is emotional, but it's also, like, this has been, uh, like, a, you know, 250-hour-long journey for me. Shinji with the voice, oh my, that, at the end, oh my god, that was so good, like, just him being like, ugh. Because it's, it feels so much more impactful. I got to know everybody. I got to see everybody's story. I got to see how they influenced Makoto. I got to see how he, he was great. For the silent protagonist, I feel like I, we had a lot of character. I think, oh, oh, oh. Come on, please tell me they, they got to see it before. <laughs> Those sons of bitches. I thought they were I thought they were going to have to bestow on you a reward for overcoming great hardship time after time. I thought they were going to do something where like we open our eyes or something as like a little like, oh, but nope, nope. They were just showing you that they didn't make it in time, but we, we had a smile on her. Makoto had a smile on his face and we hadn't seen him smile. I think that was like the first smile. I'd like to bestow on you a reward for overcoming great hardship Please time after time. Accept this gift. Blue envelope. From ready? From shadows into light. There it is, baby. There it is. What a forking game, man. Oh. DLC in September? Absolutely. Did I see your two? Oh, yeah, I cried. I cried a few times, actually, at the end. Uh, we're actually just going to put that right into... Yeah, let's just put that right in slot number one. Oh, that would have been 200 hours. But, like, 220... 220... That, I wish it would have been super cool if it was <laughs> close. If I was 20 minutes faster. They changed the... They changed... Oh, man. I freaking love when games do that, dude. It's such a little thing, but it's so cool. What happens when we... What an incredible game. What a game. Thank you for watching this game. Sincerely. I hope you have fun. I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun.